Hi, Scorpio. How you doing? It's your girl, Alex, and I am here to bring you guys another reading. If you don't want to hear this chitter chatter, please feel free to fast forward. Um, but first and foremost, thank you so much for all of your feedback related to the last reading I did and your preferences, whether or not you liked hearing about all other signs or if you just wanted the flat reading. The majority of people of the comments that I read like that style. So I'll give the general reading at the beginning of this video and then at the end, I will go through all signs. So for those of you who didn't like that style, you can go ahead and you know click off the video. Um, I wanted to give the biggest shout out to Thomas6332. Thank you so much for your advice about my ZZ plan. I actually did put it in uh, soil. I'm thinking about uh, purchasing some sphagnum moss to you know promote the propagation. But I also wanted to show you guys my Monstera Albo. This plant cost me $40. These suckers are in such high demand and this one is in the sphagnum moss as well while it is rooting and propagating. So anyway, that's what my plant is enthusiast. But now, Scorpio, let's get to you, boo-boo. What is going on? God Angels Universe, hey. Could you please, please, please bless Scorpio with all the information they need um, at this time? Thank you. Hey, God. Hey, ancestors. Hey, girl. Hey. Ooh. Oh, mm, mm. The universe wants to speak. Three of Wands. I feel like you're pondering. What does the immediate future look like for you? Ooh. Tower. This tower moment. I'm hearing somebody around you is about, about to crash and burn. Okay, so you know how Scorpio is the deliverer of karma, right? It's almost like you get to witness somebody's karma right in front of you. Nine of Cups, I feel like the universe is balancing things back out, but I'm also hearing that the universe is also answering one of your prayers. I feel like by returning this karma to someone. Now the two of wands kind of says to me, two of wands is usually at a crossroads, right? So it's almost like once you see this kind of karma play out, then you're going to be left to ask, okay, good job universe. High five. Now what do I do? Do I stay in and help them pick up the pieces from the rubble or do I skedaddle? Uh -huh. Which one is it going to be Scorpio? I am being told to separate the next set of cards. Seven of Wands. One, one, one. Ooh, Moon, Resistance. Scorpio, somebody is, is, is working behind your back. I don't want to say it feels like they're trying to make your life difficult. Oh, boy. Well, if she didn't show up, I'd have curved my comments but I feel like there's somebody behind you hypersensitive hyper focused when I say sensitive I mean sensory right it's almost like they're hyper focused almost to an extent like they're waiting for you to muck up more wands look at that Th yeah this queen of swords is the burden but angels just also said to me too Scorpio I feel like to an extent you share some of this queen of swords energy but not that you are hyper focused, you know, um, waiting to cut somebody down or sting somebody. The universe is saying, no, kind of use this person's the way about them. Use it against them. In other words, fight fire with fire. But I feel like the problem <laughs> is that you're real good at it. <laughs> you're real good at fighting fire with fire. You the phoenix. You the fire starter. They don't know. Nine of Pentacles makes sense, right? Nine of Pentacles is abundance. So I heard with this card, as I looked at this card, universe said, all you got to do is say the word, Scorpio. Just say the word and we hear to remove these obstacles and to bring you to the prosperity that you're deserving of. Okay. 
I'm also hearing from this three of wands, don't do nothing, right? Stay put, right? Don't try to help. Don't try to interfere. Oh, you know, okay, Gary, you got to produce that report that you always late for. I can help you again. Mm -mm, Scorpio, go and mind your business. Because I kind of feel like, I don't feel like you're being the catalyst as you usually are. In other words, sometimes you are the match that's just responsible for lighting the inferno. I don't feel that here. I kind of feel like someone has been already been dancing around the fire in a wool suit and they're about to catch hell is what I heard. And I do kind of feel like with the two of wands, I feel like, again, you're going to be a witness to someone, someone else's tower moment. I also feel like whenever this happens, it's almost like you're going to return to your happy state. That's what I'm getting. This person feels like, ooh. Angels just said, mm, I, don't, I don't like the word, nor, nor do I use the word enemy. I, I, I just don't believe in them. I know they exist. I know haters exist. I just don't like the word enemy, right? Like, that's for war. You know, my enemy, and now I'm going to go invade your country. But this person feels like they're your enemy or they've made an enemy of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I don't know who this is. This queen of, this queen of Libra. <laughs> queen of Swords. Cut Master. Angels just also said to me too, circling back to the tower, it's almost like this person, it's almost like they were waiting to kind of cut your throat, stab you in the back, but blah, 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 universe is going to um, return it back to them because that's exactly what karma is. You put bullshit out, bullshit comes back times five, <laughs> right? It's a, it's a universal equation on, on earth, two plus two equals four. Universal karma says two plus two equals four times five. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Ooh, child. I don't even know. Angel said a karmic, karmic cards should be coming out. Karmic cards like judgment, wheel of fortune. Um, even the devil is a bit karmic. There's a wheel of fortune. Five of swords. Tower. Oh, child. King of Swords. Uh, an honest conversation. Stressed and worried. Oh, child. Ten of Swords. Oh, the Emperor with his ugly shoes. Come on out here, Aries. Okay, so do I have Libra, Aquarius? Who's the other air sign? Uh, Gemini. I don't see Gemini yet. Okay, Scorpio, you're out here and you got Pisces. I don't see Cancer. This is Sagittarius, Aries, where's Leo? Okay, so two out of the three, you ain't got no Earth. Um, oh, you got Virgo here representing. Someone you're dealing with has challenges expressing their thoughts and feelings. Yeah, it's, it's. Oh, because you got all the power and control. So is this somebody, angels, who would prefer to stab Scorpio in the back or talk about Scorpio behind their back than just to have a conversation with Scorpio? Now, if the answer is yes, which I think it is. I understand why, because you're, you're too damn powerful, Scorpio. Could, could y'all just sit down, <laughs> right? You're too powerful for them. So is it Scorpio's problem that they dealing with a punk? All right, let me, let me mind my universal business. What we got over here? The Three of Wands and the Temperance. You're waiting for this karma. You're waiting for the bomb to drop. Oh. It feels like to me that once this tower moment arrives, your peace, emotional peace will be restored. And if you decided to walk away, you could. Yeah. Now, walking away means 
with no universal repercussions. Okay. Um, Angel just said, there's a tight situation. This is a tight situation. I have the seven of wands here with the king of swords. So that kind of, so that kind of says to me, somebody's not using their intelligence, right? I kind of feel like maybe whomever you're dealing with Scorpio, they're very much in their lower, lower energy, right? Or they could be on their logical side, but to the point of manipulation. Mm. As in, you know, they may try to outsmart you or think they're smarter than you or more intelligent you. Angels are saying that's what this person's karma is. It kind of feels like, I don't know who this person is, Scorpio, and I damn sure hope it's not you. I don't think it's you, but I feel like somebody you're dealing with, whether it's a boss a baby daddy, you know, a co-worker, a bestie, you know, not a bestie, but some sort of fair weather friend. Somebody in your energy field is a wimp, first of all. They, they're they non-confrontational. That's the politically, universally politically correct way to say that. They're non-confrontational. They have a lot to fucking say. Um... Deep down, they're afraid of you or afraid of your power and worth and value. Maybe this is somebody who thinks that you'll outsmart them or take their job or people will like you more than them. But here's the thing. I don't feel like this person is insecure. I just think that they're fucked up in the head. There was no way, no other way to say that, angels. Um, but I feel like they have like secret thoughts about you. And it stresses them out. Okay. Angels just said they know you're better than them. Oh, right. Angel said they know you can run circles around them. Okay. I mean, duh. Um, this is somebody who is trying to manage you, control you, or tame you. Scorpion's like, bitch, I'm ruled by Mars. Don't, know, don't nobody put baby in the corner. The other thing too, I also feel like, and I know I kind of feel like I'm all over the place. I feel like this reading is going to re resonate with deep Scorpio, Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising, Scorpio sun, Scorpio, you know, North node. I feel like you have Scorpio in two very fucking powerful, powerful positions in your chart. For many of you, your Mars placement, you may have Scorpio um, in there. Okay. Or if you have um, Aries in your chart, Aries is in its native sign uh, or its native planet of Mars. You could have Aries in Mars. You could have Scorpio in Mars. You could have your eighth house in Mars. I don't think it's possible to have the eighth house, eighth house in Scorpio. If you are not a Scorpio sun or Scorpio rising, you can have an eighth house in Scorpio as well. I hope that makes sense for my astrology gurus. Um, I feel like you're the tower as in, well, the tower uh, in the, in the tarot is Scorpio, right? But I feel like, again, you are the match to this inferno. Um, no, I, Angel said before that you're not the match, but I do feel like, okay, if you're not the match, it's almost like you could prevent this, right? It's almost like you can save them from, or you can assist them to save themselves. I hope that makes sense. But you're not supposed to. You have the five of swords, mind your business. Okay, go sit down, Scorpio. And to an extent, um, this is who Scorpio is. Scorpio is used to saving the lives and preventing death and assisting with transformation, right? You're, you're used to helping people shape shift, cycle shift, evolve okay and whomever this person is that you're dealing with this ain't your, your battle to fight this the universe is like no 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 no. we didn't put that person on your list to transform but scorpio's like but that's what i do god god is like sat down okay there's god right there the emperor is my god card and also have the king of swords and queen of swords so i kind of feel like it could be two person a masculine and a feminine and again, they just kind of feel like they know it all. But I kind of feel like that intelligence is what exi is exactly going to get them in trouble. Okay. They, their intelligence bordering on manipulation 
is is going to be um, their demise, okay? That's going to be a part of their demise. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, ew, right? Burdens and, you know, sacrificing, betrayal, backstabbing. It, it just kind of feels like somebody is grossly looking over their shoulder. And I feel like the person they're looking over their shoulder for is you. But you're just sitting over here just minding your business. You know, just just waiting. I'm just waiting, God, because I know you said you're going to take care of this. And I know you said you don't want me doing nothing about this. So, okay, where you want me to sit? You want me to, you know, crisscross applesauce? So you want me to like, you know, Pilates or how you want me to sit down, God? Mm. I also feel like for some of you, if you walk away prematurely, you're not going to see this karma. You're not. And, and it, it's not a requirement for you to stay. It's not like saying, hey, you got to stay to see the karma. I feel like it's going to be key to helping you restore your emotional balance if you did see the karma. Angels just also said to me, too, for some of you, you're starting to lose hope and faith in the universe, which I think is why the emperor, my God card, is sitting here on the table. Because it's almost like for many of you who've been waiting on God for so long, three months, three years, three weeks, you're like, where you at, big dog? You 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 putting on your ugly shoes? Like, what you doing? You know what I mean? Um, but he about to show up and show out. And, and just a note, I use God because it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. Spirit, ancestors, universe, Allah, Jah, you know... Um, Brahma, Vishnu, who I, I don't care what you call it, what you call him, what you call her. For me, I just use the term God. Okay? Universe, divine, it doesn't matter. <sighs> okay. Secrets. Somebody's been thinking about a secret. It kind of feels like they think they have something on you. <laughs> My angel said they think they're getting ready to pull out a rabbit out the hat, but they're going to find out that shit is a rat not a rabbit all righty mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry sometimes i just take myself out in the end in the end my right eye is jumping and that's the neg that's when somebody's talking shit about me or somebody's thinking negatively about me my right eye my right eye jumps and my right eye i've been jumping all day mm-hmm mm -hmm. But anyway, in the end, in the end, right? These are my outcome cards. In the end, honey, you still gonna be cute. Mm -hmm. You still gonna be cute and Scorpio-like and powerful and strong. You still gonna be the, you know, big baller, shot caller. All right. Angels just also said too, for some of you, this person's demise has to do with kind of bowing down to you and asking you for help and support to get them to shift. So if you shift and evolve, remember angels are like, ah, uh -uh, don't help their ass, right? The, the follow-up to that is unless they bow down and ask, ask you to, I'm going to use a controversial word in this context in saying, unless they submit to you. Now, when you think about the emperor, Cutmaster Flex, Cool Chief Rocker, uh, King of Swords, they're beneath the emperor. The emperor is the king of kings. The empress is the queen of queens, okay? But in the end, he is the master ruler. So I don't care how sharp you think your sword is, Miss Kang and Miss Queen, I don't care how, you know, clear your sight is and how you think you're intuitive and you listen to your gut and you the shit baby baby mm -mm. you you couldn't light a candle strike a match or hold a donut near scorpio's power <laughs> that heavy sigh <sighs> all right so let's do this let me do my moonology cards and then i'm gonna shift into the uh 12 signs so, God angels, let the moon be your guide. Yeah. All right, God angels, hey, hey. Hey, baby, hey. 
What final messages do we have for the Scorpio collector? Angels just said this is not your challenge. This is not your this is not your battle. The temperance is here cuz the universe wants you to just st stand back wait for universal sign, wait for universal timing, right? Because that's who the temperance and the wheel of fortune is. This is destiny, the wheel of karma, the wheel of life, the cycles of evolution. And the temperance is like, listen, you take one step, I'll take 32. Okay. So the temperance is almost like coming together to work this out. Okay. But again, you're not supposed to come together with this person you're supposed to come together with the universe, listen to um, the signs and messages coming from the universe and just just wait. Just take a wait and see. That's also what the three of wands represents. For some of you, I'm going to make a wild ass prediction. For some of you, you could see this matter resolve itself within three days. OK, I feel strongly looking at the double tower that you could see this blow up in three days. Today is Tuesday, March 19th. Uh -huh. So three days from whenever you watch this video. Shit, you can watch this video in September and it could be three days from the day you watch it in September. Ooh, child, I love that message. My angel said, well, baby, they could watch it Wednesday, March 20th and it'll be three days from then. And they can then they can watch it April 1st. And it will be three days from then. Oh, so are you saying this reading this message? There's an energy source in here that's going to ignite. Angel said, what you think them towers are, baby? Mm, OK. For some of you, you may not even be present. OK. Oh, oh. My angel said, and please take this as it resonates. Remember how they said the karma may happen right in front of you? For some of you, you may decide to stay home, call in sick, you know, take a day off when this karma happens. In other words, if your gut or you have an uh, uh, intuition, your intuition is saying to you, call in, don't go in Scorpio, stay home, you know, um, cancel that appointment. Please listen to that because I do kind of feel like that could indicate that the tower is approaching. Mm. <laughs> One of my favorite movies of all times is Twister, the 1996 version with Helen Hunt and um, oh, I forget his name. God rest him. He, he died. Bill, Bill Paxton. And you know, I love all that torn tornadic bullshit, you know, adrenaline junkie. Anyway, um, what they were saying was the call in sick, the cancel the appointment, whatever it, it, they gave me the vision almost like a tornado that fucks up everybody has everybody's house and everybody's shit, but don't come near you. Why? Because you too are a tornado. <laughs> my angels are stupid they're like mm -mm, no tornado on tornado crime out here oh angels just said to me too there's gonna be two well thank you for that lovely monkey wrench they're gonna be two tower moments but the reason why they happen is because they're clearing your path okay the first tower moment is for the person who fucks with you the second tower moment it almost feels like a revelation that yes yeah, Scorpio now you can move on Whatever this bullshit burden that's in your path, in your path, first, it's almost like the universe has to bring down Goliath. And then that's tower one. Tower two is, okay, now that Goliath is on the ground, let's go ahead and clear Scorpio's path so Scorpio can move forward. Mm -hmm. There's Goliath. This is an Aquarius. Mm. 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 It's an air sign. Aquarius with Libra. Libra with Aquarius. God bless you, Virgo. Pisces is sitting there. Cancer is the moon card. Mm -hmm. All right. Where am I at in time? 24 minutes. Good googly moogly. Show the world the real you. Mm -hmm. I feel like show the world the real you is um, 
your presence. Okay. So my angels just split the reading and said, for some of you, you have to show up. For others of you, you're not supposed to show up. Take it as it resonates and listen to your intuition because you will know um, which side you fall on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, a time for healing. Yes, Lord. Be bold and make the first move. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they just said, um, and after all of this is said and done, people will look at you in a different light. They will see you almost like as the, ooh, this is a big word. They said the savior or the martyr. So an example is if, you know, um, you know, somebody's been driving with, you know, no gap, no oil in their car. Um, and then eventually their car, you know, breaks down and then gets set on fire. And, you know, they have to take public transportation to work for like two months. And you watch this tower happen. You mind your business. You didn't offer any help. You didn't rush in to save the day. But it's almost like when that tower moment hits and all is said and done and this person comes back in to bow down to you, then they will see you in the light that they should have they should have seen you in in the first place, which is that help, that healer, um, somebody who is powerful and transformational. God, this is a deep reading. Oh, I'm sorry. Last card. Bring love into the situation. Okay. Um, yeah, I got the two um, court cards, the cold court cards, Aquarius and um, Libra. And I just kind of feel like whomever this is, Scorpio, they they haven't been showing you love. They haven't. Okay. So that is going to wrap up the standard reading. If this is where I leave you, I love you, Scorpio. Be careful out there in them streets and listen to your intuition. For those of you who want to stick around, and I'm going to go through the 12 signs. So with hopefully within this context, the or some sort of context, the universe will give you from each sign's pers perspective, Aries to Pisces, um, additional advice for, for those people. Okay. Again, it might be in this situation. It might not. So let's see what comes on with Aries. It's Aries right there. Ooh, child. Um, Aries is stuck uh, and in limbo. They're waiting for you to make a move. Yeah, look, Seven of Cups, they're confused. This to me kind of feels like they're in love. They're hanging on your every word and they're waiting to see what you do. Angels are also saying to me too, for any of you who just had an Aries express their feelings for you, it's almost like they're wanting some sort of answer from you. Do you love them too? Do you want to get together? Do you want to go out? Can they take you to the... It's almost like they're... they're it, it kind of feels like they're going to remain stuck until you provide them with an answer. Angel said also too, don't forget this could be flip-flopped, right? Um, you could be dealing with the Aries and you're stuck waiting for Aries to make a decision. Who's next? Taurus. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, that's Taurus' sign. Taurus is, um, this is Virgo, but Taurus is also an earth sign. So the Knight of Pentacles represents slow and steady. You know, be diligent, be determined, and keep going. But also take your time and go slow. Four, four of Cups. So if you're dealing with it, mm, they ain't moving fast enough. I don't know who the fuck this Taurus is. But yeah, they need uh, some shit about them jump started. I also feel like this person, t their talk is cheap is what I'm hearing. And that just means it's almost like they make all of these promises, right? They may make 10 promises as an example and execute two. That's how slow they are. Um, not only that, but I also feel like that shit is turning you the fuck off, Scorpio. Ooh, woo. You are intense. You are transformational. You are the speed of light, the speed of sound, light years, right? Wormholes, transformational, teledeportation. I always fuck up that word. It may, I said deportation. Uh, teleportate, you'll, I know somebody will put it in the comments. Don't, don't charge it to my intelligence, please. 
Um, but in other words, you are flashing the pan. You change or you um, ignite change relatively quickly. This Taurus, not so much. Gemini. Eight of Pentacles is working hard, but is lazy. They need to work on their laziness. Oh, angels are saying this Gemini is, uh, what is the word? Defensive, protective, combative. Um, I'm getting they're working on their peace, but I feel like they're argumentative with you. And this is Gemini, right? If you say green, they're like red. No, it's they're defensive. That's what it is. Um, but I feel like they're defensive for no goddamn reason. G-O-T. I don't say got. I say got damn. I don't say the other word. Um, Ace, Eight of Pentacles with the Four of Swords for Gemini also kind of feels like they need to maybe live more in reality instead of in their head. If you are dealing with Gemini, I kind of feel like they've been in their head way too much. Um, also, at the same time, this is the Four of Swords. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Four is the lower number, meaning um, they, they need to put in more physical, realistic effort than mental effort. Because their mental, whatever it is that they're thinking about is making them completely lazy. Ooh, Gemini. Ooh, there's Cancer. Cancer Dancer. And the World card. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer, um, I feel emphatically move forward with them. I know the last time I did this reading, Cancer was in love with you. Um, I do kind of feel like for many of you, Cancer is drawing you closer to them. I feel like it could be life changing and in a positive sense, right? That's the chariot. You know what I mean? I feel like you and Cancer are the perfect um, two peas in a pod. You're both emotional, Cancer being more emotional. Um, and also at the same time, I feel like you guys have a lot of experience and will know how to love and take care of each other. Okay. Angels just said to me intuitively, I feel like for some of you, if you are dealing with a cancer, you're afraid of cancer, uh, to the extent where you're afraid of falling too in love with them or falling in love too deeply with a cancer. <laughs> My angels just said, well, what's the worst that could happen? You would, you would go down to the ocean bottom, which is where your ass exists in the first place, Scorpio, right? So in other words, it's almost like my angels are laughing at you for being afraid of going too deep when that's where you live in the first place. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm moving on. We go from Cancer to Leo. Ooh, child. There's Virgo. Leo could be incognito. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like Leo's afraid. You know something? No, we're not going to say that. I feel like Leo's afraid. It, it kind of feels like Leo is missing in action. I haven't heard from them. Y'all stopped speaking. And you got the Nine of Pentacles. You thought it was going great. And, you know, you might have thought this was your person. And I kind of feel like Leo um, could... Um, have mental health issues specifically like they're al being a loner is not a mental health issue but it kind of feels like a recluse or agoraphobic right um uh bipolar as in they disappear from society that's just one of the traits of bipolarism of course but it kind of felt like everything was going great with Leo. And then all of a sudden it wasn't. And I feel like it's because of Leo. Now, Angel said flip flop, meaning some of you might have been dealing with a Leo and it was going great. And yo ass was the one who ghosted. Mm. Who are we doing? Virgo. Nine of Wands. The Sun. I feel like you and Virgo have a challenged relationship. It's one of those relationships where Angel said they don't speak the same language. And I feel like things are always being misconstrued, misinterpreted. 
miscommunicated. Um, but I feel like you both want to make it work, <laughs> right? That's like you, you dating somebody who speaks Chinese and you speak Russian and, and I mean, picture that, especially if you live in the States, right? Um, Chinese, you know, Mandarin and Russian, I, 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 hmm. but it's like, I think a part of the allure is that there is so much mystery about, I don't know what they said, or I don't know what they means, or I don't know what they meant, or, you know, they just so different from me, right? It kind of feels like you and Virgo are like, you know, um, Pluto and Jupiter, right? A little tiny Pluto and big ginormous Jupiter. But for some reason, I kind of feel like there's a high level of intrigue and excitement and possibly even infatuation. And that's Virgo. Libra. Libra. Aquarius. Uh, qu King of Swords. Intelligence and decision making. Two of Wands. Typical Libra. Okay. Mm. I think Libra loves to decide to decide. <laughs> I think Libra just loves to decide whether or not they're going to decide, right? Um, somebody, I feel like if you're dealing with Libra, I'm going to say this, Scorpio. I feel like that you feel like this Libra is com compatible with you, especially on a mental level. But I think that's it. I think for some of you, you're waiting for, for them to jumpstart your passion and your emotions. I feel like, again, you could fuck with them on a mental level, but that's it. So I also feel as a result of that, you're trying to figure out, you know, should I, should I continue to wait to see if this turns romantic or should I just, you know, head on down the road? Let's see if we can get that answer. Three of Swords. That to me just says if you are dealing with a Libra specifically, um, the best you're going to get is that intelligence. I don't, I don't know. I don't think and use your intuition. I don't think this person possesses the emotional capacity that you need in your relationships. Okay. Big scorp. Scorpio on Scorpio. Five of Wands. Sure. Four of Pentacles. I like this. Because the five of wands and the four of pentacles kind of feels like somebody is learning to manage. <laughs> somebody is learning to manage their dramatic side. And I will, that could be you or it doesn't matter if it's you or the Scorpio you're dealing with. But four of pentacles is blocking, suppressing, holding on, managing, monitoring. Five of wands, controversy, drama, conflict. So I actually like that. Good thing. Bravo. <laughs> um... Angel said, for some of you, especially if you are in a relationship, it's almost like you've learned, you know how they say you may win the battle, but lose the war. It's almost like you have taught your tail how to not lose the battle or the war. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Sagittarius. Ooh, Queen of Wands. This Aries. Ooh, child. Queen of Swords. Passion and thought. This is who? Sagittarius. Mm, that's in the moon position. This to me feels like a meeting of the minds, a cat and mouse, right? Um, God, it may lead to some good sex. <laughs> if you are dealing with a Sagittarian, I feel, especially Sagittarian in the moon position, by the way, this is Aries and that's Libra in the moon position. But I feel like, Scorpio, if you're dealing with whether it's a Sag sun or a Sag moon, good Lord. It's almost like your your foreplay is almost like a mental sparring, right? You pick the topic of the day. So, pasta, you know, do you make it or do you buy it? Go, right? And at the end of that conversation, and I'm sorry, I'm getting chills in my eyebrows, go figure. But at the end of that conversation is this, this connection that is electric. And this is for Sagittarius. Angels also said too, this could be my LGBTQIA, LMNOP. 
um, as in um, feminine on feminine. Angels also said too, if that the situation does re resonate with you, I feel like you may meet somebody or know somebody or are with somebody who they piss you off, but it's just so fucking good, right? <laughs> Y'all ever know somebody like that? They get on your damn nerves. Or she's like, damn, they so cute or damn, they so sexy. Look at look at his mean ass just cursing me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Moving on. Capricorn. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Capricorn. Devil. Yeah, that kind of feels like somebody's obsessed with, you know, um, they got their eyes on the prize instead of having their eyes on you, Scorpio. Not only that, but I feel like if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're very attracted to your ambition. Okay? Your ambition and I also feel like you could teach them a couple of things. They also said that too. They're attracted to your ambition and also your leadership abilities. And they like learning from you. God. <laughs> they like learning from you to the point of arousal. Sorry, I don't know whose horny ass ended up in this reading. Okay, so that's Capricorn. <laughs> Let's go to Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Whew, Eight of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. They're waiting for you to come back. You might have walked away from them in August, eight months ago, eight weeks ago. And I kind of feel like this person is preparing for you to come back. I don't know if this is a karmic, right? That come and go, come and go, come and go. But Angel said, yeah, it is. Okay, so if you're dealing with an Aquarius and you're in a karmic, you have walked away again and they're expecting for you to return. Um, not just expecting for you to, but making plans for you to return. Um, who are we doing? Aquarius and then Pisces. Um, I feel like Pisces has a crush on you, Scorpio. And I feel like they're hinting their asses off they're hinting their asses off in hopes that maybe you will take the reins of control and and make a move or make the first move remember the um moonology cards be bold and make the first move i feel like a pisces is waiting and i'll even want to say drooling just waiting for you to make the first move eight of swords your your final energy um, I feel like that represents, right? In other words, um, in the end, if any of these situations resonated with you, whether it's the first general reading or a particular sign that you were dealing with, I feel like Scorpio right now, because you are waiting on karma or waiting on something to happen, everything is unclear. You may not know what to do, where to go, who to talk to, where, you know, what to do next until something else happens or until this tower moment happens. So um, not only that, but yeah, the Eight of Swords is restrictive, mentally restrictive, being in your head, having negative thoughts, keep thinking about the negative past to the point where it's getting you down. Um, baby, darling, sugar, you have a beautiful tower moment coming up in the next three days, two or three days. And I feel like after that tower moment, it's going to make things more clear. It may even help realign you, get, put you back in the driver's seat, put you back in the seat of power and control. Good Lord. Does that say 44 minutes? So Scorpio, my darlings, my love, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I've been reading for 45 minutes. Something here got to resonate with somebody. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.